So online alcohol sales have more than doubled over the past four years, going from $3.5 million a month to $7.3 million a month. I'm Mason Jones, and as someone who has frequently been around people struggling with alcoholism, I want to talk about how companies are taking advantage of these people. Companies like Total Wine, Drizzly, and GoPa have made it extremely easy and convenient to get alcohol, but have they made it too easy? With these services, you're able to select drinks from multiple menus and have them delivered right to your front doorstep. Now, in theory, this sounds like a great idea, but when is it really necessary? It seems like the only time you need to do this is when you're planning to stay home and drink alone. And when you do this too often, it can lead to bad habits or worse. Alcohol is meant to be consumed with friends, you know, at a party, in groups, or at a bar. So let's keep it that way. So based off this graph, you can see that alcohol, online alcohol sales usually peak around the holiday season. There's a few reasons for this. You know, people have friends, family in town, they wanna to have drinks, celebrate the holidays, have a good time. There's nothing wrong with that. But what people don't think about is the ones that don't have friends and family to celebrate with. You know, they're home, alone, sad, probably in a pretty dark place, and some of them will turn to alcohol to cope. So even though alcohol, online alcohol sales usually peak around the holidays, you can see a steady increase in this graph. More and more people are getting alcohol delivered. So I wanna focus on one of the main companies that's blown up recently, GoPuff. GoPuff is an online service that allows you to order delivery for snacks, small products, and most importantly, alcoholic beverages. When you go to GoPuff's website and click on the alcohol section, it brings you to a page with over 25 different alcohol categories. And that's not just different types of beer and wine, that's 25 different types of alcohol with hundreds of drinks under each category. Now, You're talking about GoPuff, you're talking about delivery. This is like your big oh, okay, GoPuff. Right, now Go. I know, now I know. All right. um, they also offer promotions for the more you buy. Now, a buy one, get one free sounds good for things like a Big Mac, but probably not alcohol. Now, I want to take a look at a certain GoPuff ad. This was on my Instagram feed, and let me remind you, I am not 21 years old. Let me read this. Um, my boyfriend and I practically live on GoPuff. They're open until 4.30 in the morning, the delivery fee is only $1.95, and they have literally all the alcohol. No, I'm not ashamed to admit that we ordered Tito's vodka and White Claw twice this week. Well, this guy probably should be ashamed. Ordering Tito's and White Claw to your house <laughs> at 4.30 a.m. isn't the best practice, and Go Club promoting this to underage people isn't a very good business model. So I call on you to share your stories and experiences so we can prove that these services aren't as good as they seem. With your help, we can shed a light on these poor morals and call for more regulations on alcohol. <coughs>